Well, if you're nearing retirement, you may have heard about the 4% rule, a basic rule of thumb many people use to determine how much money they should withdraw from their retirement accounts each year. But is it really the best strategy? Well, here to tell us is Omaha's retirement strategist, Daryl Bryant. Daryl is the president of D. Bryant Retirement Strategies and the host of the Retirement Strategies radio show on 1110 KFAB right here in Omaha. Daryl, good to see you this morning. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so this 4% rule, we've heard about this for years, but uh, explain what it is and is it still relevant? Yeah, uh, the answer to your question is that no, it's not terribly relevant. The 4% rule is something that was invented back in 1994. Uh, there have been article uh, and article, article after article, um, disproving the 4% rule. Uh, but there was a fellow back in uh, 1994, his name was William uh, Bingen, mm -hmm. and what he did, he did a really exhaustive study, which we can do in a, a snap of a finger mm -hmm. now, uh, determining that a person could pull 4% of their portfolio, let's say guy has, let's use easy math, a um, million dollars, that'd be $40,000 right. per year mm -hmm. and never worry about running out of money. That this that this system of his using a retirement account, which is not identified in what we can read, mm -hmm. but a, a retirement account would last. In other words, what does he own in that retirement account, right? right? right. Uh, that it would last for uh, 33 years yeah. mm -hmm. and he couldn't figure out a way, any economic way that it would, it would uh, fall apart, yeah. okay? Um, however, uh, we know that it won't work now. We, uh, here, here are the reasons why the 4% rule uh, won't work. And if you, all you need to do, if you're nearing retirement and so forth, and, and you'd like to know what's happening with this, and you're hearing maybe the 4% mm -hmm. rule, this would be a problem uh, if you're using the 4% rule or if your advisor is suggesting that you do. Simply Google the 4% rule, which I did preparing for mm -hmm. this. Um, should you follow the 4% rule? No. New uh, real deal retirement, uh, what you need to know about the 4% rule, 4% rule no longer applies, et cetera. Mm -hmm. We do have this article uh, that uh, available for uh, uh, viewers today. Mm -hmm. This is written by Wade Fow, who's a professor, specifically about the 4% rule and why it won't work, and here's why. Uh, and this is a hypothetical study, but what mm -hmm. we imagined, uh, and when we run these studies, an advisor, if he's not thinking, if he doesn't have his nose in the books, he'll say, okay, the 4% rule, we run a thousand different studies, et cetera, but this is on hypothetical data mm -hmm. with a number of, with, with a thousand different economic scenarios. However, we're in a situation right now where bond interest rates are very low, aren't they? And so if we start from reality today, with bond interest rates very low and equity premium very high. Price to earnings ratios are exceptionally high right now, mm -hmm. aren't they? Mm -hmm. and, and bonds aren't paying very much. So if we start from reality today <coughs> and then run those same thousand economic scenarios moving forward, we find that it falls apart. In fact, we've reduced, and as has the industry, the 4% rule down to the 3% rule or 2.8% wow. rule. And if you want to try to get into anything that is reasonable in terms of a probability of success, you have to use 100% stocks currently with your retirement dollars. Okay, who wants right. to do that, right? 100% right? uh, stocks just to get a 77% probability of success mm -hmm. with a 3% rule. Mm -hmm. Pulling 3%. Three, so that's there, three, it's, yeah. It's a, yeah, and that's a 3%. So it's a really, really big deal. So uh, no no 4%. Uh, don't do your math based on that. If you want a basic rule of thumb and you're just doing some cursory math around the kitchen table, maybe a 2.8 or 3%. Right, so mm -hmm. it's a it's a very very big deal. Yeah. But we've seen the markets up and down, obviously over mm -hmm. the years. So is it still fair to spend across the board, or if we're in a time of decline, should you be spending less, taking less out of those accounts? Yeah, here's what happens. And in, in, in fact, let's go ahead and pull this graph. Oh, here's the graphic right here. Here, what we have depicted right here is the, the story of the retiree. Look, this fellow has, or this couple has, a million dollars, mm -hmm. right? And let's assume that moving forward, 2016, 17, and 18, you can see along the bottom that uh, he has a decline in value. Right, he's at in stocks, and he has a decline in value, not unlike maybe what we saw in 2001 or 2008, et cetera. Yeah. Okay, but a significant decline. Well, if he if he, if he were uh, to have that decline, his hundred thousand dollars would uh, reduce to about seven hundred thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. But if he's pulling, see right along the top where we're pulling forty thousand dollars out per year at mm -hmm. the same time, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So now we're declining and pulling money oh, wow. out you of a declining the same account. Forty thousand sure. dollars. Yeah, you keep on pulling that $40,000 yeah. and suddenly in three years your million dollars 
is down to five hundred eighty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. This is a very, very big deal. Yeah. And this goes back to another issue that nobody wants to talk about called sequence of return. Listen, if you are getting ready to retire or you have retired, you run into types of risk as you, as you just saw there that are unlike anything you've ever experienced. Sequence of return risk, withdrawal rate risk, right? Uh, it's just it, it, longevity risk. Everything changes, and so what, we, what we're looking for is a safer route to what I call pensionize your assets. Okay, so well, this, that helped. Daryl, this, well, this stuff can get complicated. You use a lot of terms in there that mm -hmm. the average retiree may not recognize or understand. Right. Right. So I think it's important that they probably get together with somebody like you during mm -hmm. retirement and revisit, it's depending on where the markets yeah. are at, how often do you recommend that people talk to their uh, retirement specialist? Our clients are in at least once a year, usually twice a year. If you are getting ready to retire, um, usually they're in four or five times during the last six months leading up to retirement mm -hmm. because we're really dialing some things in. We're talking about Social Security maximization pension maximization, uh, setting up accounts for withdrawals, safer money maneuvers, right? Yeah. Uh, and safety valves all built in, asset lock to protect your downside, which we use. So there's a lot of things. So 4% rules out. And, and I think it's important to recognize there's people out there that are retired. They're afraid mm -hmm. to spend money right. mm -hmm. uh, because they don't know what's going to happen. Then sure. they're no longer around and they've got a big pot of money sitting, sitting there that they could have been spending all this yeah. time. So it's good to look at those numbers. Mm -hmm. Sure is. Yeah, we get people in all the time, Mike, that yeah. will say, you know what, I'm, I've been retired for three years I'm afraid to spend a dime mm -hmm. because you know but, but right. what was the point why did you save sure. all that yeah, money right. to have 30 re, uh, years of ringing your hands yeah. right <laughs> Income plan, mm -hmm. income plan. Gotta do it. Well, and you so mentioned that article that you brought in today. Yes. And you've brought in a special offer for our viewers. Mm -hmm. you, did, you did right there. But if you'd really like to learn more about the four percent rule and get an in-depth analysis of how it applies to retirement today, you can call Daryl's office right now for a copy of a special report called "Does the Four Percent Rule Work in Today's Markets?" The number to call right now is four zero two nine three two two one four one. So, Daryl, uh, why should people read this report? Well, it will really be an eye-opener when you find out that you would have to have 100% equity exposure, and who wants that, just to do a 3% rule, and even that has, a, uh, has only an 89%. Uh, it, the numbers are terrible, so yeah. you just have to you see gotta, it you and you work with a specialist. By, for yeah. all, you can call Daryl. You can email him question, uh, questions at Omaha, Omaha's retirementstrategist.com. We may answer your questions right here on the blend if you'd like as well. And then coming up, um, you're back next week, right? We're gonna be talking about a couple different topics. I believe so. What are we talking about? Uh, what, uh, <laughs> Omaha's recent rankings as one of the best cities to retire for good oh, health. Yeah. And it is, mm -hmm. yeah. Looking forward to that next week. Daryl, thank yeah. you as always for being you here bet. today. Good thank to see you, you. Daryl. All right, guests of the morning,